have a sister by the name of Salam Debs. She is an anti-black racism coach and a fierce advocate for our people. And she wants to let them folks know why you shouldn't touch or ask us about our hair. Take a look. Oh, white folks watching this, please do not be like, oh my gosh, these white people, look at them. Or that one white man, that's how white men are. No, white women do it to me all the time. Little white little children try to do it all the time. White men, white non-binary, everybody, everybody doing it, okay? So I, I need y'all to understand that you are traumatizing our community on a daily basis. Educate your family, educate your children, educate your grandparents, educate your cousins, educate your school staff, educate your colleagues. Stop asking to touch our hair. Do not touch our hair. Stop asking about our hair. We are not animals in a zoo for you to study. So stop asking questions about black people's hair, okay? I don't know how many times we can say it. And the reason why y'all feel that the, the entitlement to ask questions about our hair, to touch our hair, is because of white supremacy. Because y'all have been taught that we are unconsciously or, or subconsciously or consciously, that we are black people and black bodies are inferior be beings that you have superiority over. It's, it's power. That's why y'all do it. And it's harmful and it's violent. So stop doing it, okay? So I have locks and I gotta tell you, I am constantly asked the most ridiculous questions like, do you wash your hair? Or do you take it off and put it back every day? Or how do you get it like that? Or how do you put it up that way? Or can I touch it? And sometimes before they even finish asking, they're reaching their hand out to touch my hair. And I have to stop them and school them on why you should not touch our hair. Like the sister said, we're not zoo animals for you to look at and touch and pet. And we are not show and tell pieces. We are human beings who have hair just like every other person in the world. Everybody has different textures. Everybody has different colors and styles. But you don't see them folks asking each other if they can touch their hair. So why, why is it important for you to want to touch our hair and ask us stupid, ignorant, microaggression questions about our hair. Just stop. Like the sister said, stop. And if you don't understand why, please educate yourself. There are several resources out there for you to learn why it is a microaggression, why it is racist, why it is violent, why it is imposive, all of those things. Educate yourself, please, and just don't. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations, where I report on all things Black-owned across Canada. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.